Well, I hope you're all prepared for the brutal upcoming banners. How's it going everyone? This is Kay and we're going to take a look at FGO's 2023 banners for NA. And trust me, our wallets are going to take a severe beating. Many masters will fall, but only a select few will rise above and become triumphant with that EX luck of theirs. Now, 2023 is considered one of the best years in FGO. We have Vich, Oberon, Morrigan, Malusine, Grand Pashiro, and many, many more top tier servants. As always, I'll break down each banner we'll get, and keep in mind, these dates are from JP. We usually get things a little bit earlier in terms of scheduling, and there will be no doubt some differences like new banners or some change-ups. Alright! Alright, so get your credit cards ready, throw away those bank statements, take out a loan if you have to, because what's coming is going to be insane. Don't actually do those, please spend responsibly. So off the bat, we're going to get hit with one of the most sought after servants ever. Muramasa will be the New Year's servant and he's amazing. Arts AoE who can loop with Castoria, awesome looking noble phantasm and attack animations, besides he's perfect for any Emiya fans. Besides Muramasa, there are several other servants, but aside from Super Orion, I would save for upcoming banners unless you like the other servants. As with every New Year's event, we'll get a GSSR banner. 15 paid Senkort, so keep that in mind, and this is how it'll be broken down. Based on class categories, Knights, Cavalry, and Extra, that'll be further separated by males and females, the latter having two different banners per class category. All servants are limited. Me personally, I think I'll go for Red Extra 1 or White Extra, but let me know which one you're choosing. So right after the New Year's event, we get Saber Wars 2 rerun. So not only will I need Muramasa, but now I have to get Space Ishtar. <laughs> RIP Wallet. As a reminder, MP2 Ishtar is recommended for harder quests. Not required, but it'll certainly be very helpful since she deals neutral damage due to her class. And right after the Saber Wars 2 rerun, we'll get the Tengu event where another most wanted servant of mine is being released. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go broke, but Avenger Ushi will be out and my god, I really want her. Of course, we'll also get a free Welfare Servant. Thankfully, we'll get a break where a CE banner will be released, allowing us all to recover from the Gacha Torment. We'll also get another Grail Front event. I personally love those for the tactical gameplay, but there's going to be a Roman banner, so another week break from summons unless you want Romulus. Shortly after, we'll get a 2023 Valentine event where the anticipated Karen will be out. As usual, you can attempt to pull for the other non-limited female servant, perfect for story-locked ones. Not only that, there will be a save banner rerun as well. And we will have a download commemoration who will feature Proto Arthur as a raid up servant. So after that, as tradition, we'll receive the Caldea Boys event where Amaki Sashiro will be the highlight of the event. Of course, male servants will also have raid ups, along with another raid up for Voyager. We'll get another break till the next event. There will be a class summoning. I honestly would suggest you save your Saint coins instead of pulling on this banner. This year is filled with great servants. Besides, if you really want a specific servant, this isn't really going to help because there's no raid up. The only justifiable reason to pull on this is if you're going for the extra class for Salieri. Next event, we'll have Galatea and Osakabe and Nero Bride. I may throw some Saint Quartz because Galatea does look kind of cool. And moving into April, we'll get a Hokusai and Tamamo banners. Then there will be a strengthening banner. Main highlights are Ketz and Lancer Alter, who is story locked, and James Moriarty, who is limited. A Waltz in the Moonlight campaign will feature Jean Dark and Shu Ten. After all those, another major event is the Grail Live where a free X Alter will be given, Miss Crane will make her first appearance and then there's going to be a banner featuring Maeve and Altera. Forgot to mention, Zerker X Alter will be in the first banner with Miss Crane. There's going to be a Camelot campaign where Da Vinci, Ozzy, and Chuan Zen will have raid ups. Then we're going to get another Grail Front. Again, this is in Camelot where many Knights of the Round from that single area will be out. Now, if you missed your chance to pull for Summer 5 Servants, well, here's another opportunity because of the rerun event. Of course, there will be three banners. I'd recommend throwing a few summon tickets and Saint Courts trying to get Asagami. She's a really rare servant and after this I believe she won't receive another raid up ever. You can get her through the GSSRs but no featured banner. We are 6 months into 2023 where Lost Belt 6 pre-release campaign will be released. Little Vinci will have a raid up and I'd recommend her. She's a solid Arx Luber but you also may want to save some Saint Courts for the big releases. By big releases I mean this beauty. 
Lost Belt 6 will be out and the gorgeous Morgan Le Fay will be out along with the fair knights Tristan and Gwen. This is definitely a banner players will want to sink their walls into. Morgan is a great servant and can 3 turn NP loop with the upcoming Vich banner. So like if her wallet isn't dead yet, then Castoria will make her grand reappearance. We all know she's broken, go for her, there's no reason not to, but if you do want to skip her for other servants this year, or you didn't summon her, she will return in 2024, so a year after this. I'll probably try to get NP5 Castoria, that's if Morgan doesn't destroy my soul first. After walking through that Morgan and Castoria gotcha hell, there's going to be an interlude campaign, so a nice little break right there. But me personally, I'll try to get Kanan's because she's freaking awesome. That's if I'm not living on the streets by then. And hey look, another banner I need to pull on. Grand Nero Fest will have Caster Nero and Bryn, whom I still need to get. So, oh my god, I am screwed. But wait, there's even more. Right after the Grand Nero Fest, Part 2 of Lost Belt 6 will be out. With that, we will have Fairy Knight's Lancelot who can change from single target MP to AoE, so a really unique servant, so I'm bringing out the credit card on this one. Next, there will be a 6th anniversary pre-campaign where a Bait Homes banner will be out. I call it Bait because we all know who's coming out really soon. And that is Tomomovich, the Buster Queen who lifted Buster to new heights. She's a broken character, basically what Scotty and Castoria did for Quick and Arts. Vich will elevate Buster. Go for her, it'll be totally worth it. Along with her banner, there will be a GSSR as tradition. Again, 15 paid Saint Courts is required. It'll be broken down into different categories. But what's great is that everyone will get a free 5-star servant of your choosing on the 6th anniversary. Obviously limited aren't included, but story locked is. Great characters to choose from. Obvious choice is Waver, but we all know the teddy bear is the best choice. I mean, just look at that ass. So like, I hope Vich's banner didn't break you mentally and financially, probably she did, but guess what? Oberon is next! He is the first Pretender class servant and he has the highest targetable NP charge in the game, offering 70% NP battery. There are a lot of demerits, so he's typically best used for the end of the wave or the last battle, but not only is he a strong NP charger, He's a great NP buffer and a buster damage supporter. Now if you're conflicted on who to choose, he's not on the same level as Vich, but he's considered a great servant. But if you had to choose only one, I'd go with Vich. But surprisingly, Morgan will return, so if you missed her the first time, then here's another chance to get her. An Ilya movie campaign will be next, with the magical girls having a raid up. As a preparation for the next summer event, Nemo and Drake will have a banner, and around early September, the Summer 6 event will start. I expect this to be released late August for us, but this particular event will have four banners to pull on. The first two banners will have Okita Altar Saber, as well as the four stars Anastasia and Charlotte. The male banner will feature Achilles. Third banner will have Avenger Kama as the five star, and Kanis Rider and Zerker Say as the four stars. Last summer banner will have Castor Limbo. Once the summer event ends, an interlude banner featuring Okita Alter and Van Gogh will be out. Not sure if we're going to receive the Melty Blood banner. I mean, I think we did receive it on NA when the game first came out, but I could be wrong. It's been a while, but it's an easy skip since it's just Artoria Saber. I mean, if you really wanted her, then go for her, but you're better off saving your Saint Courts since you could have chosen her as your free SSR servant from the 6th anniversary. In preparation for the spooky month, a pre-release Halloween banner will have Cleopatra and a bunch of Halloween servants and CEs. But before the main Halloween event, there is going to be a random Fate Grand Carnival promotion with Aresh. At the end of October, we'll receive the official Halloween event where another Liz Welfare will be given. New servants like Zenobia and Jacques du Molay it will be out. I believe that's how you pronounce it. My French is pretty bad, so don't judge me too harshly. But along with them, Napoleon and Dayan will have raid ups on separate banners. Also, nearing the end of October, an Apocrypha event banner will be up. At the start of November, probably end of October for us on Global, we'll receive the Guda 5 rerun event. Perfect chance to get Himiko. She's a really fun servant to use. And after that, a download campaign featuring Ibuki Doji and Kintoki will be up. The main Guda Guda event for the year will start on November. Izumo, who I believe is the first quick caster, will be out first. Then Lancer Ryoma will be released shortly after, along with Avenger Nobu. 
Yet another interlude banner will be released and will have Hokusai and Galatea. Nearing the end of the year, we'll receive a Christmas event, Martha will be the Santa for the year, and Scotty will make a return. So basically, the year 2023 will have the big three on raid up. Castoria, then Vich, then Scotty, rip wallet for the tenth time. Fairy Knight Lancelot will be returning, giving you another chance to get her. The final banner of 2023 will have Wang, a quick AoE rider who excels at beating divine enemies. But of course, I have to give a quick mention to the 2024 New Year's banner where Queen Skya of Dark will be out. I always get the Dark and Light mixed up, it's because of her first ascension outfit. Dark wears white clothes and Light wears black clothes, so you can't blame me for the mix up. Speaking of Light, Vich Light will return in 2024, so don't feel too bad if you didn't get her during the 6th anniversary. Feel bad when you fail to get her the second time. But there you have it folks, all the summon banners for 2023. It's going to be rough, but just know your misery and bad luck won't go unnoticed. A lot of us will join you in spreading those salty, salty tears. But comment down below to let me know which banner you're specifically going for. Better yet, name the top 3 servants you must get in 2023. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up as it really does help my channel a lot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell if you haven't yet, since I'll be releasing more FGO videos, specifically the top 5 SSR servants you must summon in 2023. I mean, it's pretty obvious who they're going to be, but I'll make a video talking about that shortly. It's going to be fun. Nonetheless, I hope your summons go well. Again, 2023 is going to be really tough on our wallets, on our sane courts, and our mental and financial stability. It's going to crumble, so prepare for that. Nonetheless, good luck. Till next time, everyone, take care. May we all have EX luck on our future summons.